damn glue. <laughs> Every so often in a young girl's life, you dream about the lipsticks. You dream about the blushes and that you can buy them and you can smear all them all over your face. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. This time though, we're not gonna buy it for that purpose. We are buying it to smash it with a hammer! Whoa, whoa, whoa. People wanna, you know, have a little ASMR. You can't be yelling like that. Why is cosmetic destruction also an ASMR thing? ASMR. I don't get it, so we're gonna get it together. These lipsticks are absolutely beautiful. Don't destroy them! <laughs> that hurts me deeply. It looks like the slime looks beautiful at the end, but did you- Oh, did you- uh, Did you have to use these beautiful jelly lipsticks? Those lipsticks look really expensive. It would be really fun to like put a lipstick into a slime and then change the color of the slime, but I feel like the pigment of the lipstick would get all over you, so like this jelly one is a really good idea. Putting makeup atop a slime, it's a whole genre. I'm interested because this girl is putting like a lot of very pigmented stuff on it and I want to see if it gets her fingers dirty. I went from judging this to will your fingers get dirty so I can try this. Okay, she's mixing it together. Oh, that's gorge. A lot of the colors on the inside, but it seems to have incorporated really well. Do I do it? The metallic blue in the slime is gorgeous. The fingers are very, very clean. I'm gonna have to put this to the test. Hopefully I have a lipstick that I'm willing to... I'm mesmerized right now. I hope that I have a lipstick that I'm willing to, you know, ruin. So I'm gonna use this here super clean slime. Ugh. It's not clear, I wish it was. It's quite translucent. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna try to find a lipstick that I can make do without. Or should I use a designer lip? No, 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 no. I'm sorry for even thinking that. Here's our little slime. I kind of flattened it out. I'm really upset that it has bubbles in it, but what can you do? And also I got these beautiful YSL lipsticks, but I just got them because they're so beautiful. These are my favorites. I don't have any that are a weird color. I just have colors that I wear all the time. So I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna use this Elizabeth Arden lipstick, which is still a nice lipstick, but the problem with this is it's expired. I've had it for a long time. I got it as a gift. You know when you buy makeup and you get a gift? I'm gonna cut it from the top. Get your nose out of there. You're ruining the shot. Yeah, please. This is supposed to be satisfying. Oh, well, that's a nice slice, hey? You want a slice? Mm -hmm. I'll have a few slices left. Okay. Ooh. This is really not ideal. I'm just gonna like put this in here and because I don't wanna waste, I'm just gonna like also get what's on the inside. I feel like nobody ever gets that inside lip stock. Whoa, there's so much. There's a lot of lipstick that like no person ever uses. How deep does this go? It's like the knife won't go deeper, but it looks like there's more in here. Yeah, it goes quite a bit deeper. Very good. Next up, I'm gonna put some glitter. Cause I always see people put glitter in these slimes and I just kind of want it to have a pretty glitter moment. A nice silver, look at that. I'm just gonna put a bit. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna get lipstick and glitter all over our coffee table. Maybe. We'll never get it out. You're not supposed to worry about the mess. You're supposed to worry about the fun that we're about to have together. Right. Yeah, that glitter's not going anywhere. Okay, ready? Ew, okay, green and pink is like not the best mix at all. But actually, this is how like the lady on that channel always does it. And this is a pretty good way to do it because your fingers actually don't get dirty when you're mixing it up. I'm gonna like try to clean up some of this glitter because that's what the slime is for. Uh-oh, the engagement ring has to come off because this is about to get messy. In the words of Miss Frizzle, do you see Miss Frizzle makeover? Yeah, not very good. She's not even frizzy. Yeah, she's like Miss... Basical. This is very much like a watermelon sugar. Hi. I don't know how they get the pink to like fully incorporate and I'm starting to get lipstick all over myself. Oh geez. Maybe the thing that you have to do before doing this is like warm up the lipstick a little bit. So it's like a room temperature. Cause yeah, right now it's like watermelon sugar refuses to incorporate. It looks really cute and pretty and like marbled in some angles and then looks really disgusting like puke in other angles. Ooh. <laughs> the goo smells really good. It smells like lipstick. I don't know why, but like lipsticks are my favorite smelling cosmetic. They just smell so good. Like the MAC cupcake or the YSL like fruity. Okay, I don't think this is gonna mix anymore. Like it's looking pretty pink, but it's, it's gross. A, looks like a blobfish. Yeah, it's gross. This is a very interesting example. You, ooh. Okay, so you cut the lipstick. You make a big mess out of it. At least you're putting it in a container so it doesn't go to waste, but that cleaning up of the edges is absolutely stupendous. Oh. Now here's another one of squeezing 
these capsules out. Now, a lot of women on TikTok really enjoy their skincare to be in these capsules, and I happen to be a capsule user as well, because if you can get a nice biodegradable capsule, it is really fun to destroy the capsule every single time you use it to squeeze the life out of the capsule and make it regret the day it was born. I like these different capsules, and I like destroying. These were meant to be destroyed, so this is something that we can forgive. Oh. Namaste. There's something about the wet lipstick. It just looks so good. It just looks so juicy. Like it looks like a fresh fruit, like a fresh leaf or apple. Like it just rained in the orchard and there is this lovely, this lovely condensation. That is beautiful. I love the wet drippy lipstick. Some of these I'm going to try because I'm a curious George. I kind of want to know like if I splash some water on my lipstick, will it look like that? Okay, this is very interesting. So you do get droplets on here because lipsticks are so oily, but I don't know how they get the concentration of drips. Oh, <gasps> a spray bottle. So I guess this is how it's done. Cool. This is exactly it. Like, okay, so I was wondering how you got these like beautiful droplet thumbnails. You just gotta spray the crap out of this with a bottle and then whoosh, I, I, I can't cut this though because it's new and it's exactly in my color. Okay, so this is like really satisfying. You just like very lightly touch it and then all of the water just comes off. I mean, we knew that would happen, but I didn't think it would be this easy. Yeah, it's not perfectly smooth anymore, which is a bummer, but it beats it being cut. What worries me about this is that like, I don't think that I could do this personally because I'd probably hurt myself, but this is somebody who's really good at cutting. This is somebody who's got the hands of someone who works with their hands a lot and understands precision. I kind of lack that and I'm jealous of it. Oh, this girl went to town on her soaps. Oh, that's a beauty. This one's an absolute beauty. It is a waste of soap, but on the other hand, like what a like what a piece of art. <laughs> this is this is art. Like she's making a weird sort of visceral art that just makes you feel good. Oh, this is a nice little tappy tappy. Oh yeah, bring it out. Bring it out. If you don't squeeze that, I will hurt you. Oh, there's the squeeze. <gasps> oh. What is this What is this foam? These ASM artists, they really truly understand texture. I think it's quite amazing. But let's get back to makeup. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Hello, Rice crispy Square. Ooh, oh, I love that. Oh, that just made me want some marshmallows so bad. This is the stuff that hurts me on the inside. Like, do you have to do this? Stop it! You could do it with a cheat palette, but I don't find this amusing. Ugh. I don't find it satisfying, maybe because I have different values. Because every time I hit pan, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to go shopping again, but this person's like fine with hitting pan. They want to hit the pan. This makeup is breaking up like a piece of ice in the winter when you step on it and it like, makes a nice, it like falls into these nice geometric pieces before becoming more of a powder. Oh, that looks expensive. I don't know, but oh gosh. I mean, it is nice you made a little heart in that, but couldn't you just go to the beach and make a heart in the sand? Like, is this necessary? Hello? Oh, it's spilling over each other. These milk things, I have thought about cutting them before. I think it's just like our inner destructive side, you know? Like when you see something perfect and you want to mess it up when you see a perfect sand castle and you want to just jump right into it. And maybe people enjoy the fact that it's expensive, you know? Like this Kylie Cosmetics. It was sold out, and guess what, girl? We got it, and we didn't get it to put it on, we got it to bring it, yeah! Wait, what is this? Oh, gosh, okay, you don't have to clean your sponges with be watching, I'm fine, but thank you. This person is mixing Pop Rocks into their cream? Oh! You're not gonna be able to use that. Oh, that is a nice texture right there. This is the way that I assumed clouds would be if I ever played in them. You hear that? Oh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's like somebody whispering in your ear. <gasps> okay, that's satisfying. I want to do it, but I don't have any lipstick left that I can afford to destroy. A few moments later. It's a little scary. Good. This is the best lipstick I can use because I am 
How long do I have to heat it up for? I'm scared. Like 10, seconds. 10 seconds? Well, it's fire. If you put that on me for that long, I'd be screaming. Are you serious? Can you even see what I'm doing? Right arm. <laughs> Wait, this is the part that I find the coolest. The play that lipstick on it? Yeah, it's just like the it's cool little splats. Everyone likes a cool little splat every now and again. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a good one, but what a waste. Only with Etude products? So like, is this like a Korean ASMR thing? Judging by the title, probably. Oh, I like this. Cause it's not quite destroying it. It's just, ooh, ooh, oh. I could definitely fall asleep to this for sure. Doing a little painting with a little cosmetics and I bet those smell so good because everything I've ever used by Etude House smells really good. Oh, <gasps> stop. The blur is so beautiful. The blur and the pink and the white. I'm feeling the fantasy, I really am. I really do like these little balls. I don't like when they're everywhere though. Nobody likes balls everywhere. I didn't know they were squishy. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Those look very interesting. I'd like to buy some and use them on my face. Oh, making little flower. <clears throat> okay, nail polishing a lollipop. Interesting. Why would you do that? Making a little unedible, inedible? Making a little inedible fixture for your house. So I see these on TikTok a lot, like breaking these like little ball things. And I don't know what they are, but it really feels like you can only break them once because the outer skin is quite tough by the looks of it. Now this IOP stuff, I think I have this exact uh, blush, but I can't see mine being this creamy. I feel like they added to it. It does look very satisfying though. And there's only one way to find out. One hour later. I don't have it guys. I threw one away because it expired and the other one I used the whole thing, so sad times. But I do want to try it one day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. Let me know what you think about cosmetic destruction. It gets so many views and it's such an interesting little niche community. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.